I'm Barry Chandler, founder of Interactive Hospitality. You know me as the bar blogger. I want to talk in today's video about how to know what social media platform you should be using to target your customers and to know where your customers are so that you can target them most effectively and most efficiently. So I'm going to give you four ways to find out where your customers currently spend their time and how you can target them in the areas where they like to spend their valuable minutes each day. So the first thing is, there are many social networks out there, as you're well aware. There's Facebook, there's Twitter, there's YouTube, Foursquare, you name it, Yelp. Where should you start? Well, let me tell you where to start immediately. It's the big elephant in the room. It's Facebook. It's that 800 million person strong network uh, where I know your customers are already there. Your customers are there. It's that simple. So if you don't believe that and you want to see for yourself, here's how you can do it. If you're uh, setting up your Facebook page for the first time for your business, check the businesses in your area to see what they're doing and how many fans they might have on their pages. Look at movie theaters, look at sports arenas, look at restaurants, bars, theaters, local retail stores in your area. Have a look at their Facebook pages and see if they have hundreds of followers, thousands of followers potentially. That'll immediately tell you whether you're you, your own customers who live in the same area as these competitors are on Facebook, and I guarantee they will be, okay? Once you know they're on Facebook, you can set up your page and start to advertise your page to them through your business and using Facebook ads. The second thing to do is to try and work out are your customers on Twitter, because some people say to me, I don't know whether I should be using Facebook, I don't know whether I should be using uh, Twitter, Foursquare, what should I be using? To find out if your customers are on Twitter, first of all, do exactly the same thing as you do with Facebook. Check to see if your local competitors and local businesses are using Twitter. The second really effective thing to do with Twitter is to go to search.twitter.com and put that up on the screen here. Search.twitter.com and you can type in the name of your business, you can type in the name of your competitors' businesses and what you're going to see are search results in real time. So over the past few minutes, the past few days, you're going to see how many people have been searching for that exact phrase or talking about that exact phrase on Twitter. And you might be surprised how many people are talking about your business. You might be surprised how many people are talking about your town. So do a search to find out what people are saying. The third thing to do is to type in the name of your business into Google. And after the, the name of your business, so let's say your name, the name of your business is Murphy's Bar, type Yelp and you'll see the Yelp reviews for your business. What's Yelp? Yelp is a review site for businesses all over the United States, United Kingdom, Ireland, Europe, many countries use Yelp. It's very, very important in, a, in, a, in an urban environment especially because people make their purchasing decisions based on peer reviews. So there's a, you've all seen the video on our, on our website, Social Media Revolution, that shows that 78% of us make our purchasing decisions now based on what other people say. So we want to make sure that what people are saying about our business is accurate and it's correct. And if it's incorrect, we want to be able to, to join in the conversation and, and help educate people more about our business. So check out what your Yelp reviews are. Check out what star rating you have out of five. If you've got a one star rating out of five, that means every time somebody searches for you on Google, there's a potential they'll see a one star rating. And you've got a couple of options at that stage. You can Ask your customers who enjoy their meal, enjoy their, their, um, their time in your bar to go and review you and give, a, you know, give an honest review of, of their time there. Don't ask them to write favorable, favorable, favorable excuse me, reviews just for the sake of it, but certainly if they have a good time, tell them to do that. And second of all, maybe it's highlighting things about your business that you didn't know. Maybe there's a couple of servers, a couple of bartenders that are particularly rude, bad at their job, shortchanging. This could highlight some issues in your business that you weren't even aware of. So Googling your business and the word Yelp is very important. Once you've done that, by the way, it's important that you claim your business uh, page on Yelp. And you can do that so that you can reply as an owner and help educate the customers and talk to them and apologize if necessary, invite them back if necessary, thank them for their reviews. So uh, underneath the, uh, the name of your business on Yelp, there's a little link that says, is this your business? And you can click on that and it's free. You can claim the business for yourself. So the first way is check the Facebook pages in your area. Second way is to check the Twitter pages in your area, but also to do a search on Twitter. Third way is to check on Yelp to see what people are saying and see how many people are reviewing your business. And the fourth way, this could be the easiest of all, and you can do it right now, is to go out behind the bar, walk around the tables, walk around the bar, and ask your customers what social networks they use. As simple as that. Find out what, where they want to spend their time, and then you spend the same amount of time there trying to connect with them. It really is that simple. Five years ago, 10 years ago, I would have been telling you to go to MySpace or Friendster or FriendFeed. Now I'm telling you to go to Facebook, Twitter, Yelp, and see what people are saying about your business. That's the first step to understand what platforms you should be using for your business. Once you've discovered those platforms and understand that that's where you, your customers want to be heard and want to talk to you, next we'll talk about a content strategy and what you should actually talk to them about. But that's the next video, okay? Cheers.